Lithium batteries for our boats from companies like Battleborn offer 100 amp hours for about 750 US dollars, a high price of entry into the lithium game. But I just bought something else, 600 amp hours of lithium for way less money. And I want to explain why. Obviously, lithium batteries are what we want in our sailboats. Outside of the huge price, they offer a lot of benefits. They last longer, they charge faster, discharge deeper, and they're significantly lighter. They use built-in computers that can now often tell us what they're doing and how much energy they have stored in them with apps on our phone. And I don't want to lose you here. Battery talk can be annoyingly complicated. Sometimes, for me, it's like listening to tech bros talk about Bitcoin, overly complicated with all kinds of industry jargon. And whether it's Bitcoin or lithium ion phosphate battery technology, I just can't be bothered with any of it. You guys know me, overly simple to the point where it irritates people and really bothers the diehards. And I'm gonna keep this video very simple. I only speak in amp hours because all my boats are 12 volt and amp hours is the simplest measurement to wrap my tiny little brain around. I know, for example, that my fridge on my boat pulls six amps when it's running. So if it runs for an hour, that's six amp hours. I know how many amps everything on my boat pulls when it's running. So if I stick with amp hours, it's easy for me to figure out how much solar I need in a day and how much battery I need in a day. For example, Lady K uses about 180 amp hours of 12 volt energy every day. That's a 24 hour period of the fridge and the freezer cycling on and off, the inverter powering the computers, the VHF, autopilot lights, USB ports, and on and on. 180 amp hours in a day. And because it can be cloudy for several days, we need to support that 180 amp hour day appetite for a few days where the solar might not be of much help. So we want to give her about 300 usable amp hours. 300 is a very typical number for a liveaboard cruising sailboat to be very comfortable. It's not enough to run air conditioning, but definitely enough for everything else. In AGM batteries, older technology, we'd have to buy three of these Group 31s to get 300 amp hours. At $400 each, that's $1,200 in batteries. But lithium, Battleborn is kind of the go-to in sailboat land right now, and they run about $750 for every 100 amp hours. So just over $2,200 in batteries. $2,200 for lithium instead of $1,200 for AGM. But what if there's a cheaper way? Well, Battleborn is currently building their own manufacturing facility. That's what the sales rep told me. So hopefully that'll drive that 750 per 100 amp hour price down in a couple years. But for right now, there's a wave of lithium battery companies popping up that might help. I found this company on Amazon, Lytime or Lee Time. I'm going with Lie Time. Now I want to be clear, these people don't sponsor me. They didn't give me anything for free, not even a discount. I just read thousands of reviews on different lithium ion batteries and I chose this one, Lie Time. Their website says, our journey began back in 2009 when Lie Time was founded with a clear goal to make solar power accessible and affordable for everyone, everywhere. I like it so far. For over 14 years, Lightime has been deeply rooted in the field of new energy and committed to becoming a global leader, blah, blah, blah. But one of the biggest drivers for me was they're on Amazon. So I get free shipping and the use of Amazon's ability to get boxes to my house pretty reliably. And I like that. If you buy Lightime, a 100 amp hour lithium battery is on sale right now for about 300 bucks. Remember, an AGM was 400, Battleborn is 750. These guys are 300. And because we know we want 300 amp hours, we usually buy three of these, but they sell a 300 amp hour model. You can get this bad boy and the 300 amp hours only weigh about 65 pounds. I can't even tell you how heavy 300 amp hours is in lead acid land, hundreds and hundreds of pounds anyway. Lady K's current battery solution is ridiculously heavy, but she's a mono hull, so that's fine until you have to carry them. So I ordered not one, but two of these 300 amp hour batteries. And I want to share that experience with you. But side note, 
I ordered the 600 amp hours because these batteries aren't going in Lady K, they're going in Charlie the truck, which is a box truck I'm building to drive across America and go to all the sailboat places and boat shows. If you want to see me building that, head over and subscribe to the Charlie the Truck channel on YouTube. Anyway, I ordered two of them on Amazon and immediately got a message from Lytime. I figured it would be them telling me that they don't have the ones I ordered and I was kind of out of luck. I knew the $1,000 Canadian or $740 US price tag for 300 amp hours was probably too good to be true. But that's not what the message said. It said, Dear Tim, we send you this message to let you know that your order's been shipped and you don't need to provide any additional info. If you buy a combo pack, such as batteries and chargers, they're shipped separately, not in the same box. If you're purchasing a combo pack of batteries, batteries are also shipped separately, not in the same box. Please be patient and all your packages will be delivered. Cool, that's kind of nice of them. Sounds like they're working around a bunch of shipping regulations. It took about five days for the batteries to get here. And another side note, in the description of the batteries before you buy them, it says the batteries will only be shipped at half capacity meaning they won't be fully charged due to shipping regulations. I guess that makes sense. A fully charged battery stores a lot of energy and would be more dangerous on an airplane. Anyway, the batteries arrived and I put a voltmeter on them both and they both read exactly 13.17 volts. So not full, but I was impressed that they were both exactly the same. Whatever in-house system Lytime uses is consistent. And I like consistency. Then I got another message. Good day, thank you very much for choosing Lie Time. I'd like to confirm whether you have indeed received your package and have had the chance to use our product. Our records show your order's been delivered. Your satisfaction is of top priority and I'd like to invite you to share your feelings about our products with others or give us your valuable suggestions. I hope you had a pleasant shopping experience with our products. Any questions about the product, please feel free to reach out to us. Despite the world's hustle and bustle, our team is always ready to assist you. Best wishes, your friend Maya from Lie Time. I like these folks. They're very softly in your face to make sure you're happy. Who does that? They literally are inviting dissatisfied customers. So I told them what's up. Hey, thanks for your message. There are two orders for these batteries and I did receive both. Both were in perfect condition, 13.17 volts as expected. Both will be featured in my YouTube channels at Lady K Sailing, at Practical Sailor, and at Charlie the Truck. I have them hooked up to two Victron 100 slash 50 MPPTs and 1700 watts of solar on Charlie the truck. I look forward to testing them and using them on a daily basis, so we'll continue to review them. And they reply to me, good day, thank you so much for your update and sharing such detailed information. We're thrilled to hear that both batteries have arrived in perfect condition and met your expectation. It's fantastic to know that you've set them up with Victron MPPT controllers and solar panels on Charlie the truck. We're especially excited to hear that you'll be featuring the batteries on YouTube channels, Lady K Sailing, Practical Sailor, and Charlie the truck and daily usage insights will be incredibly valuable to us and our customers. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. We look forward to watching your reply and grateful support your friend, Susan. Now, I'm not stupid. This Susan likely isn't a Susan. I'm sure she's a million miles away in another country and the English is slightly questionable, but it's very nice to know that someone is there and accountable. If I have a problem, I think I'll be able to get help. Anyway, I installed these batteries in Charlie the truck and one of the instructions was before connecting the two 300 amp hour units together in parallel to make one big 600 amp hour battery, they both have to be fully charged. That's something about lithium. Each battery has a little computer built in, not like lead acid batteries. There's technology in these and we don't want to upset the tech. So I hooked each battery separately to half the solar array. Charlie's got 1700 watts on the roof made of four 425 watt panels and two Victron controllers. This way, two panels would charge each battery. I have to say that at first glance, these batteries are beautiful. The plastics and connections are top notch. The packaging was great. And I'm even gonna keep the very dense foam from the bottom of them that it was shipped in to continue to keep the batteries set on top of. The instructions are very clear and illustrated very nicely and the English in them is very good. Not like a lot of products on Amazon. I get a good feeling from this product. They have clearly spent a lot of money on their website and their manufacturing of these batteries and on the paperwork that comes with them. It's all of a quality that I've come to expect from major North American manufacturers. It's in line with buying an HP laptop or even dare I say, an Apple product. It's all 
very solid, very reassuring, very nice. And the customer service so far is even better than the American companies I usually deal with. Now, obviously with Annapolis Boat Show coming up, I intend to drive Charlie and really test these batteries for the first time in heavy use, air conditioning, the fridge, everything. We'll see just how they perform in the real world and I'll report back to you guys. So far, I think Lady K may be getting an upgrade in her batteries for 2025. What do you think? Chime in in the comments and let me know. And don't forget to go subscribe to Charlie the Truck. Until next week, friends, keep the heavy side down, but not too far down. We'll see ya.